Aloha. Good mid-morning to you, wherever you may be watching from. Perfect timing on that wave. <laughs> we are going to be doing a walking companion this morning. And we are starting at the very, very end of the pier that's out in front of Barefoot Beach Cafe. We were going to start at Barefoot Beach Cafe, uh, but simply because it's all ugly, I'm already showing it to you, but it's already ugly with the uh, chain link fence and some of the construction they're doing. So we're starting at the very end of this pier right here. And we're going to go all the way over there to the Rainbow Tower at Hilton Hawaiian Village. And just a reminder on what these walking companion videos are, they're meant for you to take them on your on your treadmill or on your walk if you happen to want to take your, your uh, tablet or your mobile phone and just hear some narration and to actually watch some of the videos we go along. Um, what we will do different on this walking tour as opposed to, I'm, I'm sorry, on this walking companion as we do with walking tours, is we are going to start at a reasonable pace. We're not going to go probably at my normal pace, but a little bit slower pace but we're going to continue all the way. We're not going to stop. We're not going to stop and give commentary. I will give some narrative points of, of interest as to, you know, hotels we're stopping by, uh, some things that are notable on the beach perhaps. And uh, just so you're able to keep this companion with you, and this companion is going to be good for about two miles. So we're going to go from this exact point to exactly Rainbow Tower is 1.7 miles, but we're going to make it two miles. And it should take us about 40 minutes at a kind of a decent pace. So if you watch the last walking companion, that's about the same pace we're going to use. And we did this exact same or this exact opposite walking companion last time. We went from Rainbow Tower all the way to Barefoot Beach Cafe. I will respond to some of your comments if I could see them, but I want to focus on what I'm going to be walking and doing. And uh, then we'll do a live stream afterwards and uh, maybe answer some more of your questions. So happy 4th of July to everybody. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in Waikiki. There's beautiful Diamond Head, Queen Kapiolani Park on the other side. There's Queens Beach. And yes, that is a huge, huge monk seal right there on the beach. We're gonna walk by her in just a moment. And apparently she's, she's a popular monk seal because she's actually been tagged and you can see her numbers on her side. All right, so let's just do some real quick shout outs before we get started. Aloha Sandy and Gerard, Deb, Margaret, Debbie, Carol Ann. So our starting point is right here, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna turn right around here. We're gonna do uh, two miles in about, actually we should be doing about 30, 34 minutes, but I'm gonna say about 40 minutes. So if this is the companion that you uh, use for your walks, uh, hopefully it's uh, helpful to you. And let's get started. And feel free to leave comments and send Terry uh, comments as well on what you want to see differently with some of these uh, companions. If you want them to be harder, or if you want them to be a little bit more, uh, a little longer. I was going to do a walking companion all the way to Kahala and back. That's about uh, eight miles. Or we could just do it just to, to Kahala. That's about four miles. bunch of fish out this morning and this gentleman's feeding him some some bread to see them come up see those pretty nice so I won't be stopping I'm just gonna do a nice quick pace and I'll comment as though you are re-watching this so hopefully things are nice weather where you are people starting their surfing lessons this morning. All right, just heading to the left here. We're going to go all the way down Kalakaua. We are not going to take the uh, back beach walkway behind Halakalani because that's a little bit treacherous and I, that may change. I mean, if you, if you guys really want to go back there, we can. I think the, the tide is going to be low. Today we're supposed to have king tide sometime, but it's certainly not high now. It's 
it's low so maybe we could do that there's your monk seal right there check out that bad boy or bad girl I guess I guess it is a female keeping walking keeping our pace up it's really important uh, if you're really going to get the best out of walking to keep a good pace it's better to keep a pace consistent rather than walk fast and slow down walk fast and slow down it's a little bit different if you're going to run and run wind sprints that's very good if you're going to do it's you know like a hit method something like that but for this we just want to get a good pace and just keep that pace going for at least two miles minimum two miles you know maybe 35 minutes two miles depending on what your uh, your actual pace is but just a good pace Aloha Patrick I'm assuming most of you are walking on uh, streets or maybe a track or so if you're ev ever able to get on sand even though that's more difficult it is really really good for you it helps your body have to shift and adjust and works on your slow twitch muscles and helps your core and you know to, to very small degrees but it's you know it's better than just flat ground it being fourth of july a lot of people are off work and a lot of people from the mainland uh scheduled their their dates to be off this week and came over but there's a lot of locals a lot of combine out here on the beaches starting early already had there it's only 9 30 9 35 here have their barbecues out and their music next weekend by the way they're having the next movie movie on the beach is going to be right there we'll live stream that because they have a uh, some live music they have some food events they have some tents uh, food trucks yeah people try and take up the whole sidewalk when they walk it seems like instead of letting <laughs> some people get by there's Honolulu Zoo right there we're walking along Kapahulu right here in this main street coming up that's perpendicular is Kapahulu you've heard us mention that a lot that's a street that notably has side street in a bunch of uh, nice stores and shops Safeway is down at the end also Rainbow uh, Drive-In and Leonard's Bakery is towards the end that's also a nice walk but if you're going to do your walk, you shouldn't stop at Rainbow, Rainbow Drive in or Leonard's. <laughs> That's counterproductive. And there's Waikiki Beach Wall. We've been down that area a number of times, and the beach is already busy. You can tell about how low the tide is by the water level on the wall, that breaker wall there. Looks down about two feet from the top. On the right hand side on that second story we have Lulu's restaurant that's that restaurant where we had that really good burger the other day they're also noted for their uh, loco moco also here on the right there's a beautiful twin fin and the tiki's bar and grill right there on the corner Just keeping an even pace not too fast but we will not stop we're not going to stop for crosswalks if we run into a crosswalk where there's a stop uh, we'll just walk down the street a little bit turn around and come back we do not want to stop we want to keep our whatever our heart rate gets up to when you're at a even pace look at that beautiful 356 or 365 Porsche once you get your heart rate up to whatever level your heart rate is 
when you're at a medium to brisk kind of a walk, that's what you want to maintain. You want to keep that high. Helps elevate your cardio, get your heart working, knocks out a bunch of the bad stuff, burns fat once you're, if you do this, if you do this type of a walk, three to five times a week, you will definitely see an improvement. If, you're, if your diet, your diet would, will ruin everything that you're accomplishing when you do these types of walks. If you have a horrible diet, you'll be barely staying ahead of the game, if not falling behind. If you have a horrible diet, lots of, you know, preservatives, saturated fats, sugars, sugar's a killer. You want to avoid that if you can. All sugars. This is the Prince Cahillo statue right here. On our left, the beautiful cove and outlet that we go down many times. Yeah, we're making good time. Did anyone happen to do a stopwatch or do a start? I should have had you do a start. We'll be able to tell how long it is afterwards and how many steps afterwards, but I was just wanting to know if anyone started the clock. It was probably 9.37 when we started. Cheeseburger in paradise. This is the Aston's Waikiki Beach Tower. It's been noted in the in the comments a couple of times. We mentioned it on a few of our streams. That's a uh, hotel slash vacation rental uh, facility or uh, building, I should say. This is now the further end of Kahio Beach and Waikiki Beach right here. Right down that street is the uh, Waikiki Resort Hotel. On the left, a number of our uh, number of our members are loyal to that that location, that brand. Over here on the right is the Eggs and Things restaurant. Very busy today. They also have a second location on uh, Saratoga, which is just catty corner from the uh, post office on Saratoga. We'll be passing right by there a little bit later today. They're having the, uh, you know that hula show that they normally have here at Cahillo Beach, at that little stand right there? They're going to be having a little bit something extra there today. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but we may come back by and take a look at that. One of the beautiful trees throughout Waikiki. If you're walking, just keep the pace up. Don't slow. Great place to stand. <laughs> that lady just stopped like right in the middle of the street with her. <laughs> There's the Hyatt Towers on our right, right there. Just a little bit windy today. Make sure you keep your pace. No stopping. And try not to slow down. This is the uh, Duke statue. Beautifully decorated with lay, beautiful lace today. They do that early in the morning. This is one of the pick up and drop off areas for the Waikiki trolley. Looks like they're going to have a busy day today. All the, uh, I think, I think doesn't have all of the uh, routes start there. Or they have a pick up there. They all start off of Royal Hawaiian, the street. 
There's Waikiki Beach, but that's their first stop for drop-offs and pickups. The Hyatt Tower again. It's a Honolulu police station. It just, it just when people stop and do it over and over again, and you see them, like when I walk, I'm looking about 50 feet ahead, just in case I need to avoid something or somebody or, you know, some distraction. And you can see it; they're just stand, they'll just stop, stand, kind of turn around in a circle, look around, and not be weary of the people behind them or around them, or you know. There's a Sheridan. They call it the other Sheridan, the Kaiolani. We've seen a I've seen a few really good reviews about that property recently, uh, notably about their bar, pool bar. And uh, the accommodations, I guess the rooms were just recently redone. Nice size balconies. They're not the biggest balconies, but they're nice size. And I guess you have ocean view from a few of them, a few of the balconies. There's a beautiful Moana Surfrider Hotel right here. Favorite of just about everybody's, I believe. There's a historic hotel. Opened in 1901, two years after the uh, Haleiwa Hotel opened up. Up here on the right is going to be the International Marketplace, the entrance, the west entrance as they refer to it. More of the Moana Surfrider here. This is more retail space, fitness center, and some meeting space up above there. Not really for everyday leisure guests. Access. And there's the International Marketplace. And then right through here, of course, is Duke's Blue Note, Sunrise Cafe, Hula Grill on the second floor. Here's a lot of the retail shops that are on the front side of the uh, Outrigger Waikiki Hotel. Coming up on the right is the uh, Beachcomber uh, Hotel. That's also the location for the new Cirque du Soleil show. And on my left is the one and only in the world Cheesecake Factory. The busiest and most popular restaurant in all of Hawaii. Locally owned and ran. Let's go down this way. In between the beachcomber and the second building, the Foot Locker building where California Pizza Kitchen is, right down that alleyway is Duke's Lane. And that is somewhat of a reimagined, I really hate using that word, but that's really what they say, a reimagined international marketplace. A lot of the vendors that are international marketplace-like from the old days are there, but they're not, it's not the same. Those are many of the same vendors selling many of the same items that you'd find at the Aloha Stadium uh, swap meet. The swap meet will be a little bit lower price for the same items though, as you could, could imagine. Some new retail spaces opening up the uh, Apple store has closed down. It's going to be several stores now. Um, this is a new store coming. Moncler, I guess, Moncler, Moncler.
here's the, uh, we've been walking beside the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center that's been on our left for quite some time, but now they're having the, uh, this is the main opening where they have the entertainment stage there. You see that line of people? Those are all Japanese people going to the Stussy store. S-T-U-S-S-Y, Stussy store. That won't open for another probably 20, 30 minutes, but that line will be there all day. Harry Winston's. You know, Waikiki really has done a good job in attracting these higher end brands. I mean, it's not just new. That's not in the last few years. It's been for quite some time, but I think they do a good job in not just inviting them and getting them established, but also bringing the business that keeps them here. here. There's Hermes, you know, Gucci, Rolex, Chanel, Cheesecake Factory, Prada. So we're getting a bit of a red light here. So we're going to walk down here a little bit until it goes green. We want to keep our pace up. Don't slow down. Don't change your pace. Okay, it looks like we can pass through right here. It's important to keep up, keep it up, keep it up. Don't, don't slow down. It's a beautiful day today. It, it started off very early, like at six o'clock this morning with very few clouds. Now some clouds have come in. And as per usual, the clouds over the beach coastal area are quite sparse but over by Manoa Falls, Manoa Valley over there they're a little rainy which is very good because it blows the air over here towards the beach and it's cooler, cools it down a little bit. Now we could go to the left here and go down Waikiki Beach Walk, but we did that last time. And so I want to come this way, uh, stay down Kalakaua. We'll cross by Saratoga, the, no the uh, road I mentioned earlier for where Eggs and Things is. And yes, that is a cross, cross light telling me to cross. Speed up and get in front of these people instead of behind them. And it's about right here at Royal Hawaii, or I'm sorry, in Lures. That was Lures that we just passed in Kalakaua. It's about right here where walking traffic really dies down. Not to a stop, but it just kind of dies down. Prada really does not benefit, even though it's a, you know, it's a five-star luxury brand. It doesn't benefit from lux the luxury, uh, luxury walkway over there by Royal Hawaiian, really. And here is Long's notable that it's open 24 hours if you ever have any prescription needs drugstore needs any urgent off-the-shelf medical needs that's open 24 hours 99 percent of you won't need it but the one percent that does you'll be glad i said that so <laughs> thanks for bearing with me aloha rick hello sandy again on the left hand side there's Hard Rock Cafe really good sports bar restaurant at the top and obviously they have their great uh, great merchandise down the bottom and then Tommy Bahamas is right next to it here on my left and on my right these are just you know smaller shops but that King of Thai Thai boat noodles number two right there in that purple sign very very good restaurant also this ramen nakamura on the left also very good and there's a uh, hotel that opened up about three years ago that i have to be honest with you i did not know about until somewhat recent and it's right there it's called polynesian residences right there
This is the original luxury row shops right here. Gucci, Chanel, Miu Miu. And we're going to be crossing Saratoga right here. Saratoga is notable for a couple of things. One, the post office is there. It's a road that runs into the beach walk that goes by Waikiki Shores. It's also where Eggs and Things is, right back here. And uh, Arnold's, the Tiki Bar, is located over there as well. Look at this. We're getting blessed with the uh, walking signals. How about that? And because we just want this walk to be closer to two miles, normally the map would tell us to walk right through there, which would take us through uh, this beautiful park, well-manicured park, but we're going to go up a little bit further here to the corner of Ala Moana and take, take a left. That'll take us into Hilton Hawaiian Village. This will take us, this will make it a little over two miles and maybe closer to a 40 minute walk. I'm sure none of you are doing the walk with me right now, but when you're on this re, re walk or replay of this walk, hopefully some of the information is uh, beneficial to you. Today we're, we're not looking at the beach right now, but we're going to be getting the king tide, hopefully later today. It's supposed to be here. That's the LaCroix Hotel on the right hand side here. Nice hotel more towards the end of Waikiki, but it's uh, it's not priced that way. You know, it seems that some of these out, just out, outside of Waikiki, it's not really outside of Waikiki, it's in, still in Waikiki, but some of these hotels that are out of Waikiki proper are still maintaining rates that are close to like what Hilton or Hyatt Regency. As a matter of fact, this LaCroix, today's 4th of July, I had someone looking at some hotel rates last week to be staying in August and uh, the LaCroix, the Ambassador Romer were more expensive than the Hyatt Regency uh, Beach Resort. That, and that, that is just because the Hyatt just has more rooms to fulfill, you know. which is a plus and a minus. I mean, it's a big, big property. If you want something more intimate, you'll need to go to a, a smaller hotel, but for sure the rates are reflective of uh, having to fill a lot of rooms. Here's the Luana on the left, a favorite of a couple of our prized members, Greg being one of them. There's the Waikiki Romer, or Romer at Waikiki, or I'm sorry, Romer at Ambassador Hotel. Hopefully you've been able to maintain the pace. You know, don't try and match my pace. I'm still trying to walk, walk a little bit slower than I normally do, but just take your own pace if you're using this as a walking companion. Oh, look at that 57, wow. Well, that looked beautiful. Now we're still on Kalakaua. This is Fort Derusi Park on our left. Beautifully manicured, well-kept uh, park. They do such a great job with their parks around Waikiki. Beautiful trees bloomed. We won't go down there, but just to give you some notes on some landmarks around here, up here on the corner of Kalakaua and Ala Moana, on the right hand side is the food truck compound that we uh, frequent. Most notably before, uh, because of the uh, lobster roll, which by the way, it's fallen to probably the third spot on the best lobster roll in Waikiki. We know number one is now Royal Lobster by far. Back behind it, that tall building right there is the uh, Hawaii Monarch. We mentioned that a couple of times. It's a very, very affordable, or let me back up. It's a very affordable accommodations option. The rooms are a little bit dated, 
but size-wise for the dollar, they're bigger than most of the hotel rooms, if not bigger than the uh, uh, main hotel rooms in Waikiki. So if you're not put off by being a little bit outside of Waikiki and maybe that's what you want, that's a pretty good option to consider. They have a couple of stores uh, down, in the, uh, down in the lobby. They have a dry cleaner down there. They have a mail service if you end up staying for a longer period, period of time. But they also have 808 Smart Car as one of their drop-off locations are right there. Then if you take Kapahulu straight there, you'll run into Kapiolani. And Kapiolani is the, one of the main streets that run through Honolulu. Now we're taking a turn onto Ala Moana Boulevard. And if you've driven a rental car or your car from the airport into Hawaii on your first day, this is the happiest road in the world right now. Everybody's happy. They're excited. They have their brand new rental car. They're going to check into the hotel. They're already imagining what they're going to be doing for the day. And conversely, if you're on the other side of the street going the opposite way down Ala Moana on that way, it couldn't be a sadder day or a sadder road. I'll be able to tell you exactly how long the uh, walk was after we finish, but it'll be two miles because it was going to be 1.7 if we went directly from Barefoot Beach Cafe, went along the backside of Sheridan Waikiki, Halikulani, and along this road over here. I don't recall the name of that road. That's 1.7. So we went out of our way a little bit to make it two miles. Can someone tell me what time it is in Hawaii right now? Hello, Lisa, Debbie, Jenny, Cat Roy, Debbie, again. Great to see you guys. Look at the beautiful park. Beautiful park. And as I'm realizing it right now, I think my pace is higher on average than what it normally would be. So don't look at my time. I'm, I, I may fudge the time a little bit just so you can, you can put your own time uh, judgment, but I'll, I want to know what it is accurately. It's 10.05. Yeah, 10 05, so 30. Well, so it's not bad. That's a that's a that's not too quick. So we started probably about 9 37, 9 38. No later than that. So let's say 9 35, so it's 30 minutes now, and we'll be done in uh, probably six more minutes or so. But my pace is not, I'm not humping it by any means. I, I have uh, I have extra cargo from this morning. So I'm not humping it. I'm not double timing it. Um, thank you guys. Thanks for the time. So I'm just going to walk a little bit. That's usually a quite long uh, signal. So I'm going to walk down to this. It'll, it'll just add a little bit more distance. And I'm glad I did because that light just turned green. So we would have been waiting longer. So this, is, this actually adds a little bit of distance to our walking companion. Again, it's a beautiful day that you can still smell the ocean air, even though we're off, off the ocean a little bit, but you can also smell this greenery. I don't know what is fragrant about this, these plants. I didn't think these elephant ears had much smell to them. Oh, it's, that's what it is. These flowers right here, very uh, tropical smell. So we're going to be taking the entrance into Hilton Hawaiian Village, just as though you were driving in or walking in to uh, check in. We'll walk in, we'll walk along through the uh, food court that, that'll be on our right hand side and then walk in through the lobby and then around to the back side of the Rainbow Tower just to make it a little bit, a little bit longer of a trek. Not too much longer.
here you guys go. There's the security ducks not doing their job, just sleeping, taking a bath, no judgment, nothing at all, just lazy. And there's the Rainbow Tower. We're going to go to the other side just to add a little bit of distance to our walk today. We're nice and warmed up, so we should be able to put on a little bit more of a distance. But don't walk much faster, just keep your same pace. Hydrate a little bit if you need to, but do not stop. Don't stop, don't slow down. It's the main thing, once you establish a pace, keep that pace going. You can rest when you're done. There's Steve Aoki's Teppanyaki restaurant. His father was Rocky Aoki, the one who started Benihana and he famously had the uh, racing boats and a number of other ventures outside of Benihana's. He did a great job in building up a lot of publicity and press for the restaurant just by the things he did outside of the restaurant. Gerard, if you're still there, check this out. Check, no, uh, take note of this right here. I'm just going to dip in and dip right back out. We're going to do a, a uh, stairs companion for you and me and Lance. Here it is. Do this bad boy ten times. Right there. Let me show you. I used to be able to do that ten times. <laughs> I probably still could, but I'd be dead when I was done and I'd have to rest a bunch of times. <laughs> But that's a great little uh, outing. I love those stairs. When I, I discovered those stairs years and years and years ago. And a, a girl who used to work here at Hilton Hawaiian Village, she says, Tony, this is back in the day too, you got to remember, Tony, you, you like to work out and hike, don't you? I said, oh yeah, I love it. Oh, so there's some stairs around here. And my ego, because she was a attractive, attractive girl, and she said, there's some stairs up here. And before I could let my, there you go, before I could let my rational thought get ahead of my ego thought, I said, oh yeah, let's do it. She goes, oh, well, there's quite a few of them. And I do like a number of laps. If you want to take a look at them first, I said, nah, I can do it. She killed me. <laughs> so we're going through the Hilton Hawaiian Village check-in area. We won't stop in here, but this is one of my favorite places. I don't know why it is. Actually, I do know why it is. It's because it's so happy. Everybody in here is checking in, ready to start their vacation. They're in high spirits. And it's just a beautiful property. You just get this feeling of, uh, do you know when you're on vacation, that's what you feel like. Again, not stopping, but checking out some of the beautiful areas. There's the other rainbow tower that we're not stopping at. Keeping up our pace. We're almost done. No, no sense in slowing down. Just keep going. Finish strong. Easy breezy. This is an easy 30 minutes. busted dude so if you've started your walk with this walking companion either now and on a re or on a replay and you've gone this two miles in less than 40 minutes or whatever your pace is as long as it was a solid pace for yourself congratulate yourself you've done what 99 percent or i'd say 98 percent of the people watching and not watching are going to do today or the day that you're the day that you're watching this they're not even thinking about it so if you've done it congratulate yourself reward yourself but don't re reward yourself with terrible food we're almost done about 100 yards away going to see the beautiful beautiful uh, rainbow tower 
and the lagoon at Hilton Hawaiian Village. So we started at Barefoot Beach Cafe, walked all the way across Waikiki, made no stops, no slowdowns, no nothing. And if you stayed with me, you are a champion. You deserve a standing ovation. You just did what the vast majority of people you know, at least 90, 98% of the people you know will not have done what you just did if you did this walk. And there's your payoff. Look at that beautiful property. Rainbow Tower. Okay, time. What time is it? There's the lagoon. This is Hilton Hawaiian Village's beach and rated number one by Mr. Beach, believe it or not. All right, guys. Well, congratulate yourself. Get a little water, hydrate, relax a little bit. If you're feeling froggy, let's do it again. And it's 10:13, so we did this in 37 minutes. Fantastic. Knock one out yourself.